Hello, y'all. Welcome in to Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah, and another edition of Snacks Around the World. Wow. This one says right on it, it says Turkish Delight. So I'm guessing that it's from Turkey. Although looking at the back, holy smokes, there are so many languages back there. Yeah. Just pick and choose. Turkish, English, Dutch maybe. I don't know what that is. Something Cyrillic, something else Cyrillic. Um, French, Italian, and Arabic. Those are the languages on the back of this. And that's because apparently people around the world like these. This looks like a pull tab of sorts. I have to find the end of it because I'm getting into this box. It will not be Deborah proof for long because boy, they look good. I have had things like Turkish delights before. So yeah, I am definitely looking forward to this. Plastic off the outside and then there is a little box with little squares of powdered sugar co covered goodness. Oh my goodness, there's actually a description on the back. Hello. And I know I'm gonna say this wrong. Lukom, Lokom, a genuine Turkish product is one of the most delectable sweets in the world. This traditional sweet was introduced to Europe in the 18th century and has become a world-renowned confectionery ever since rightly called Turkish Delight. Turkish Delight was one of the first confections known to man, presented in cubes and dredged in a mixture of icing, sugar, corn flour, and or diced coconut. It says caco nut. So maybe it's caco nut, not coconut. Actually makes sense for the area. Icing sugar increases the durability of the product whilst preventing stickiness between the pieces. The amount of Turkish Delight dusted with icing sugar in this box is exactly equal to the net weight appearing on the principal display panel. With its unique features, Turkish Delight requires extensive packaging, which should be packed in exclusively designed boxes with raised, and they skipped something because I don't think English is the first language here, in order to maintain a proper shape, avoid sticky and damaged pieces. Packed Turkish Delight loses its shiny appearance, appearance when dusted with icing sugar, but the inside remains clear. Yes, this looks amazing. And the picture on the outside, of course, the picture is larger than the inside. These cubes inside are smaller. Um, looks like it has nuts. So if you are allergic to nuts, no, you cannot have this. I thought I had scissors. I do have scissors here. Because I'm not going to rip this and have powdered sugar flying all over the room. No, we're not doing that today. So kitchen shears on point. Oh, oh my, yes. You can definitely smell the nuts and the sugar. I'm gonna try and get a nice little piece out here. Of course, I chose one that is covered in lots of sugar. Look at that shiny goodness inside. Oh my gosh. Mm. And despite the powdered sugar on the outside, it does not taste overly sweet. Black mulberry flavored, it says. Don't know what that means. There is no, oh, here's some nutrition information. And I think it's just per box. Can't be per box. Of course, yeah, I got no clue. <clears throat> it says 92 carbs. But I don't know how many pieces that would be for. Because it wouldn't just be for one or two or five. I mean, because it's not terribly sweet. But it is delicious. Mm. I'm having another piece. You know why? Because I can. Mmm. Mm. 
like it says. Introduced to Europe in the 18th century. So, yeah. This is an old world Oh gee, sweet. And oh my, I like it. This is definitely Fat Chick approved. I'm going to have to put this away because I will sit here and munch on this whole bag because they are that good. Mm. And that's why everybody the world over knows about this particular candy or confection. It's a confection. It's not quite a candy. It is that good. It gets the long name. Okay. Have you ever tried Turkish Delight? If so, when? Where? Where'd you get it? Somebody gave it to you as a gift or something? I got this at the European market in Greenville because that's where I get a lot of my stuff that's from all over the European area. Um, it's always fun when you see all of those languages on the back of the box. Oh my goodness. That is wonderful. Yeah, if you ever get a chance to see this brand and this flavor, black mulberry flavored, give it a shot. Don't pass it up. And anything like that, any kind of food. And that that's how I live, obviously, fat chick. Um, if it's from someplace else, try it. That's one thing we all have in common around this whole world. We all eat. There are many different traditions, um, styles of cooking, ingredients that we cook involving food. But since it's one thing that we all share, we should share it. And because if you can sit down and have a meal with somebody, how can you hate them? How can you be afraid of them? That's my bit for world peace today. Thank you all for coming by. Please hit like and subscribe on your way out. Leave me a comment. What would you like me to try? Is there something from your country or your heritage that I should search up and try to find and, and eat? Because I probably will if it's at all possible. <laughs> Thank you, and I'll see you soon.